about stage pictures. Stage pictures are created by actors with one another. Pictures are created by the way actors stand, the position they choose, and their position in relation to other actors. And we plan to discuss all the parts of pictures. As well as how to make them. And finally, how we use them to direct focus. Let's get to it. Let's go! First off, we need to define the term stage picture. A stage picture is to create a picture with other actors using... The three parts of a stage picture. Which are angles, levels, and proximity. Let's begin with angles. Most simply put... Angles are any part of the body that is not vertical or horizontal. And the most important part is variety. If someone else is at a certain angle... You should be at a different angle to make the stage picture more diverse. Next are levels. When we say levels, we're referring to the heights of actors' heads. Head heights should be varied, unless there is a specific reason why they are the same. And again, by choosing a variety of head heights, we make the picture more interesting. Proximity refers to how near or far different actors are from one another. Actors who are close are also probably close emotionally. Those not as close may not be. While being closer or farther creates a picture, it also says a lot about the people in the picture. And how they feel about one another. Which brings us to focus. If we were watching a scene in a movie, the director of the movie could control where we looked by using camera angles and close-ups. On the stage, we don't have those options. So it's our job to direct the audience's eye by using light, sound, color, and also... Stage pictures. If actors work together as an ensemble, they can direct the audience's eye just by where they are located, where they look, and by creating tight pictures. Tight pictures help to further tell the story of characters, their relationships, and the action taking place on stage. Here, we see eight characters on the stage, but by creating tight pictures, there are only three places for the audience to look. This allows us to direct the audience to the girl down center. This works even when the characters in focus aren't down center. So long as you've narrowed the focus, characters can be placed around the stage and still have the focus. It works anywhere on the stage. It also works if the focus character is in a weak position facing upstage. This is actually an example of proximity. The actors are not in tight groups, but equally spaced. This puts the primary character in focus by contrasting with all the others. This demonstrates what happens when actors become lazy. They may be focusing on their character, but they are unaware of their surroundings. Who has the focus here? The answer is no one. To make matters worse, this is nearly the same scene we saw at the start. When the actors tighten up their stage pictures, it's a perfect example of directing focus. When they don't, it harms the storytelling and confuses character relationships. So, we've talked about the three elements that make up a stage picture. Angles levels, and proximity. And discussed how the use of tight stage pictures can help to direct focus on the stage. Stage perker... Those that, um, I thought it was on the next one.